Hello, grade 11 online students. Today we are going to do lesson five, feelings. Lesson five and lesson six. Uh, first lesson five, feelings. I experienced a roller coaster of emotions when my son was born. A roller coaster of emotion. This means I had many different emotions one after another. During my wife's pregnancy, I was ridiculously excited, ridiculously excited about the prospect of becoming a dad. On the big day of the delivery of the child, I imagined that everything would go smoothly and would then or would we sorry and would be blissfully happy. Blissfully happy. Remember such collocation. But there were complications during the delivery and my wife had to have emergency surgery while I waited in the reception area. Worried sick. I was worried sick. Means very worried. As time went by, I got increasingly anxious, increasingly anxious, because the doctors weren't telling me anything. After two hours, I was seething with anger. I was ready to explode with anger. I was boiling with anger, seething with anger. And I uh, shouted at one of the nurses. Then the security guards came and escorted me out of the hospital. They sent me out of the hospital. My wife was visibly disappointed. It was obvious, vividly, or visibly means obvious, clear that she was disappointed that I wasn't by her side when she woke up from surgery. She didn't say anything. She's not really one to show her feelings. She's not one to show, to express her feelings. She prefers to bottle up her emotions. Bottle up, bottle up, hide her emotions, keep her emotions hidden inside her. But I knew I had to let her down. Sorry, but I knew I had let her down and I was terribly sorry that I had lost my temper. I had lost control and shown anger, lost my temper, lost my temper. The months that followed were tough. My wife became deeply depressed and I too was an emotional wreck, an emotional wreck. An emotional wreck is a person who is very, very, very sad, confused and upset. As I tried to juggle the demands of work and family life, but now things are starting to turn around to become better. I have been pleasantly surprised, pleasantly surprised another collocation, at all the help we've gotten from our friends and neighbors. I'm just immensely grateful. I am just immensely grateful that my wife and son are healthy. And sometimes I'm overwhelmed with emotion. I am overwhelmed with emotion as I reflect on, I remember when I remember how lucky we are when emotion is so strong that it's difficult to think or speak. This is called, I am, or I was, overwhelmed with emotion. Now, there is a quiz after lesson five. You can do the quiz and check the answers at the end of the book. Find the answers at the end of the book. You have the book on SMS. Uh, now, lesson six, houses. Remember the pronunciation of the word house, plural houses, not houses. Houses and apartments. I recently spent. I sorry. I recently spent a month on vacation, but instead of staying in a hotel, I look for a short-term rental, a flat or a place to rent for a short term, short period. I ended up sharing a two-bedroom apartment. I shared it with someone else. That's an apartment with two bedrooms. A two bedroom without S, two bedroom with a hyphen here, and no S. A two bedroom apartment, that's an apartment with two bedrooms, a living room, and a kitchen with some friends. I was actually cheaper, it was actually cheaper than renting a studio apartment. 
A studio apartment is an apartment with only one big room, all by myself. So sharing a two bedroom apartment uh, uh, was cheaper than renting a studio apartment by myself. The apartment was on the top floor of a five-story building. Remember, we say five-story, not five floor. The building was five floors, ah, but it is a five-story building. Uh, and it had a balcony overlooking the ocean, overlooking the Nile, overlooking the canal. And it had a nice view of the sea, a nice view of the city, a nice view of the park, a nice view of the mosque, a nice view of the church, and so on. The apartment had recently been remodeled. When you remodel it, you renew it or uh, renovate it. You renovate, renovation, remodeling. The apartment had recently been remodeled or renovated, meaning it was fixed up and improved and was fully furnished. This means had all the appliances and furniture, had all the furniture and all the appliances. We love the spacious, the roomy, the big, the wide living room. But unfortunately, the bedroom was rather cramped. The bedroom was cramped. Cramped is the opposite of spacious. I felt or started to feel homesick. Sick. I started to feel homesick. I suffered from homesick. Uh, homesick. Uh, when you feel sad because you miss your life at home. I'd really like to have a place of my own. When you have a place of your own, you have your own flat or apartment, so that I'm not throwing away money on rent every month. I want to have my own villa, my own apartment, my own house, but there is a real shortage of affordable housing. Uh, affordable housing is accommodation which is reasonably uh, uh, priced or inexpensive in my city. Even if I stay away from the upscale neighborhoods, upscale means uh, 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 elite. Uh, upscale neighborhoods are areas where rich people live. Like in Port Said, for example, El Gold, Rumoria Street and so on. I still have to take out a mortgage. When you take out a mortgage, you have a loan from the bank, uh, borrow money from the bank in order to buy a house. This is called mortgage. I have to take out a mortgage. And I'll take, it'll take me more than 30 years to pay it off, to pay it back, to pay this loan or this money back to the bank. It, it'll take me 30 years. But still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saving up for a down payment. A down payment is the money you pay in advance, an initial payment or uh, on a big purchase, like a house. I buy it for $200,000. I can pay $50,000 as a down payment. Someday when I do move into a new place in the future, when I move into, move into a new place, I'll be sure to throw a housewarming party. When you move into a new place, you can have a party which is called a housewarming party. It's a party to celebrate living in a new house or apartment. And we have a quiz on uh, lesson six. You can take your time and do it and check the answers at the end of the book. Thank you very much.